Item number SCP-3112. Object class safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3112 is to be monitored by Foundation satellites intended to detect electromagnetic radiation at a global scale. Locations are identified to exhibit frequencies of 7A times 7.7A to the 7th A power hertz are to be further monitored for possible activities relating to GOI-312. Foundation personnel are assigned to monitor Site-81 staff break room at all times to collect SCP-3112-A manifestations. Instances of SCP-3112-A are to be immediately inspected and sorted. In the event of a sudden influx of SCP-3112-A manifestations, additional Foundation personnel and equipment are to be assigned to the area. Collected instances of SCP-3112-A are to be kept in a standard containment locker at Storage Site-81. Testing with the Foundation-created SCP-3112 instance had been approved by Dr. Beep as of the 21st of July. 2016. Testing is to be done at Site-79 due to the electromagnetic interference associated with SCP-BEEP. Description SCP-3112 is an anomalous form of electromagnetic radiation with a frequency of 7A times 7.7A to the 7th A power hertz. SCP-3112 has been observed to allow interdimensional translocation of letters and postcards. Foundation efforts to replicate SCP-1112's frequencies and anomalous effects have been successful. See Test Log 3112-1. Her spontaneous manifestations of envelopes and postcards designated SCP-1112-A within Site-81 staff break room is theorized to be caused by an interruption to SCP-3112's frequencies. The abrupt cancellation of SCP-3112's frequencies leads to the unexpected release of SCP-3112-A instances upon reaching the end of SCP-3112's cancelled waves. The interruptions to SCP-3112's frequencies was confirmed to be caused by the anomalous property of SCP-BEEP found within the same site. SCP-3112-A instances have been identified to be non-anomalous in nature. SCP-3112-A exhibits texts written in unknown scripts and languages, although some instances contain intelligible writings. Addresses and return addresses appear to be unique for each SCP-3112-A instances. A supposed extra-dimensional postal service provider identified as Indie Mail, designated GOI-312, claims to be responsible for SCP-3112 and SCP-3112-A manifestations. GOI-312 have successfully contacted the Foundation twice and provided instructions for the construction of SCP-312-B on first contact. See Document 3112-1 and Document 3112-2. Further attempts at contacting GOI-312 are being made. SCP-312-B is a 50 cm by 50 cm by 50 cm wooden box embedded to the side of a crocus macrocarpa, known commonly as bur oak, with one twig attached to the box through adhesives. Letters and postcards following specific conditions and deposited to SCP 3112B are immediately transported upon exposure to SCP-3112 frequencies. SCP-3112-B was constructed by the Foundation with Dr. Beep's approval to utilize SCP-3112 in an attempt to contact GOI-312. Document 3112-1 GOI-312-L01 a letter found to address the Foundation directly was discovered while sorting SCP-3112-A instances. Below is a transcript of the letter. Indie Mail 
Stay connected, no matter how far yonder. To our friends at the Foundation, we at Indie Mail give you our most sincere apologies for the inconvenience. We seem to have struck an unexpected interference to our Raven waves at one of our mailways established to pass your domain. As a result, messages prematurely drop at your location. We at any mail sincerely apologize for this. We'll see to it that this issue may be fixed as soon as possible. We at any mail follow the policy of our consumers. We kindly request of your full cooperation to refrain from opening contents of letters not addressed to your person until we are able to resolve this incident. Again, we at Indie Mail offer our most sincere apologies. May we request for your kindest consideration as we handle this situation. Thank you. Sincerely, Harold Hyrule, Indie Mail Customer Service Center. The following could be seen at the back. It shows instructions on how to potentially utilize and replicate the anomalous effects of SCP-1112 with the use of a basic contraption designated SCP-1112-B. Supposed contact information for GOI-312 was stated as well. For further inquiries and suggestions, you may reach us from our mailing address. In the mail, postal services, IDM box, 0001 Kinsterson XX 0001923919 109234 First time connecting to our mailways Make sure your box is properly embedded within the box Use of May Oak Tree may offer for stronger connections Check if your box is able to detect our waving waves If not, move to higher altitudes Attach twig on box for stronger connections. Test log 31121. This file records all attempts at utilizing SCP-3112 for interdimensional translocation. Please use the following format. Researcher, date, procedure, results, notes. Below is a transcript of a letter that is to be utilized for all following tests as of the 25th of July. 2016. To Indie Mail, thank you for contacting us. We at the Foundation received your notice and understand the situation fully. We offer our kindest considerations and compliance to your request. We are currently conducting tests and attempt to utilize your mail transport methods. Your use of electromagnetic radiation for interdimensional translocation of mail intrigue us. We hope to know more about Indie Mail. Should this letter reach you, please do reply. Sincerely, Dr. Beep, Foundation Researcher. Upon retrieval of document 31121, testing of SCP-3112-B and replicated SCP-3112 instance began with Dr. Beep's approval. Researcher, Dr. Beep. Date, July 21st, 2016. Procedure. One natus known commonly as Black Rat, contained in a 10cm by 10cm by 10cm box, was placed inside SCP-3112-B and exposed directly to SCP-3112. When on the box is the specified mailing address found in document 3112-1. Results. Box disappears briefly and reappears after approximately 3.50 seconds. Upon reappearance, the following note was found attached to the box. In valid delivery, the shipment of live organic beings is a violation to our interdimensional transport regulations. Radis Radis specimen appears to be normal upon examination, a subsequent to testing. Researcher Dr. Beep. Date July 22nd, 2016. Procedure. One active digital recording device contained in a 10cm by 10cm by 10cm plexiglass box was placed inside SCP-3112-B and exposed directly to SCP-3112. Written on the box is a specified mailing address found in document 3112-1. Results. Box disappears briefly and reappears after approximately 3.5 seconds. 
Upon reappearance, her following note was found attached to the box. Invalid delivery. Delivery too large. The coins obtained from the device displayed static upon examination subsequent to testing. Researcher, Dr. Beep. Date, July 23rd, 2016. Procedure, one active digital recording device contained in a 3cm by 3cm by 3cm plexiglass box was placed inside SCP-3112-B and exposed directly to SCP-3112. Then on the box is a specified mailing address found in document 3112-1. Results. Box disappears briefly and reappears after approximately 3.5 seconds. Upon reappearance, the following note was found attached to the box. Invalid delivery. Delivery too large. Recordings obtained from the device displayed static upon examination subsequent to testing. Notes. Let's go with blackmail. I shall compose a letter. Dr. Beep. Researcher, Dr. Beep. Date, July 25th, 2016. Procedure. One standard envelope letter was placed inside SCP 3112B and exposed directly to SCP 3112. Written on the envelope was a specified mailing address found in document 3112-1. Result, letter disappears briefly and reappears after approximately 3.5 seconds, similar to previous testing. Upon reappearance, the following note was found attached to the letter. Invalid delivery. Postal token required. Note, we'll have to identify this so-called postal token. Perhaps inspection of SCP-3112-A instances may shed some light, Dr. Beep. 100% of inspected SCP-3112-A instances contains leaves coming from Sympocus Nigra, known commonly as Elder. It has been hypothesized to be the postal token in question. Researcher, Dr. Beep. Date, July 28th, 2016. Procedure, one standard envelope letter and one Sambucus Negra leaf was placed inside SCP-3112-B and exposed directly to SCP-3112. Then on the envelope is the specified mailing address found in document 3112-1. Results, letter disappears briefly and reappears after approximately 3.5 seconds, similar to previous tests. Upon reappearance, the following note was found attached to the letter. Your mail will be sent shortly. Thank you for choosing Indie Mail. Note. Finally, our first successful attempt. We'll just have to wait and see now, Dr. Beep. Document 3112-2, GOI 312-002. A similar letter to document 3112-1 have been discovered while sorting SCP-3112-A instances the day following Foundation's first successful attempt at interdimensional translocation through SCP-3112. Below is a transcript of the letter. Indie Mail. Stay connected, no matter how far yonder. To our friends at the Foundation, we have received your letter. Thank you for inquiring with us here at Indie Mail. On behalf of our entire team, we are immensely glad of your interest at availing our services despite recent incidents. It seems you have already set up Raven Wave connections on your own. We thank you for this as it shortens the setup process on our behalf. We would simply have to connect your Raven Waves to the new mail wave route being developed for your domain now. Once it has been done, you would officially be part of our ever-growing list of indie mail users. We thank you, Foundation representatives of Domain 3876 Beta, for opening the possibility of extending our services to your domain. Without you, this would have not been possible. Stay tuned for an upcoming indie mail branch near you. Sincerely, Norman the Great, Head and Founder of Indie Mail.